Hey, all you crispy cauliflower crusts. Welcome to another episode of What You Packing. Sitting here in front of me is one of our finalists, Safira Cristal. Hi. I have been dying for this moment. Oh, me too. It's just so annoying that I can't come and cuddle and talk and laugh and kiki with all y'all because I'm judging you. So this is my one chance when I get to know each and every one of you, and it means so much to me, so I'm so glad you're here. You live in Philadelphia now. I do, yeah, I love Philadelphia. But you're not from Philadelphia. I'm from Houston, Texas originally. I've been in Philadelphia for eight years. Do you love it? I do. I love the city of brotherly love. I think it's yeah. so culturally diverse and some good ass food. Oh, uh, I think that like second to Houston, Philadelphia has some really wonderful food. And what is Houston? What do you love, the barbecue? Baby, mm. there is everything in Houston. Go on. They have amazing Thai food, amazing barbecue food, amazing Mexican food. My foodie ass needs to come down to Houston. Now. I gotta show you around. Oh, I would love that. Baby, the place that I'll take you, you have never eaten food like this before. Oh my goodness, yeah. that gets me so excited. So you're in Philly, you've been there for eight years. Where does the opera fit in? So I started singing classically when I was 13 years old. And how uh, did you do that? I went to the high school for the performing and visual arts. Yes, but Houston. one doesn't normally get drawn to opera and classical. So when I was four years old, there maybe three or four years old, my parents took me to go see La Boheme at the Miller Outdoor Theater. The Ebony Opera Guild was performing La Boheme. And it's an outdoor theater, so like lots of kids are usually running around and doing whatever while opera's playing. And I was in the seat like this. Oh, wow. Just entranced. Uh, ever since that moment, I can always remember opera just being in my head. I would just hear it constantly. When did you start incorporating opera to your drag? Fairly immediately, honestly. Drag started for me through opera. When I did drag for the first time, um, I stole my mom's dress. And of course you did. <laughs> for Halloween, I wanted to be Leontine Price. And I went to school. Everyone thought I was Whitney Houston. Um, <laughs> I mean, that works too. Yeah. But how old were you? 16. Yeah. 17. I mean, still very young. Yeah, very young. I think I won the competition as, as Whitney Houston. And then later <laughs> on, <laughs> I, it was got, I got hot in the gown, so I just put on like a shirt. And then it was at the time of um, Desperate Housewives, mm. and everyone started calling me Alfre Woodard. <laughs> Who, again, another fierce diva. Fierce diva. So mm. they took a picture of me and a friend of mine, Delius, and we were the prom, prom king and queen of the school. And you were the queen? I was the queen. Obviously. And uh, my mom came and she tore the picture down because she thought, not that I was in drag, but she just didn't think I was pretty. <laughs> so she didn't want this thing. Stop. <laughs> because later on when I started doing drag, like as Safira, I told my mom I'm doing drag and she said, um, well, I don't want everyone to see it. I've seen you do drag and you don't make a pretty girl. And I was like, you wouldn't recognize me if you saw me. And she said, you think I wouldn't recognize my own child? Let me see the pictures now. Sent it to her and she said, and I quote, damn, you look like me. And then you did that Stop. <laughs> so she's fully on board with Safira. Oh, immediately. So Safira Cristal, you auditioned 11 times? Mm-hmm. Come again? Mm-hmm. And you didn't give up? Never give up. Nina West, I think, was nine. Yeah. And I was like, ooh, girl. 11. 11, yes. That is dedication. Well, you know, at some point I, I, I prayed to God to get on this show. Mm. I said, but I don't want to get onto this show until I'm ready to win. Okay, and here you are in the final. And here I am. Amen, can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? Oh, I just gave it to you. Amen, I just, I believe that when the time is right, the time is right. Oh, there, it, there are no mistakes. Ever. I agree with that. So take us back to you getting ready to walk in the workroom for the very first time. How did you prepare? Remember, 11 times you auditioned, what's going through your head? Well, I just jumped for joy mm. <laughs> a lot. Um, I'm singing opera, <laughs> it is my nervous tick, so I'm just like, Ooh! Jesse uh, Norman backstage, just, camera, yeah, hilarious. Yeah, and people are like, what is that, what is that sound? <laughs> What's going Beautiful on? Beautiful is what it is. And it was kind of one of the first places, because I do it a lot, so my friends get a little uh, annoyed by it, mm. or, and maybe they don't get annoyed by it, but the way that they express themselves, because Philly's a tough place. Yes, it so is. people are always going to express themselves. They will tell the truth. And in a tough way. Yes, <laughs> and I was yes. just like, it sounds good, uh -huh. you guys. Stop making fun of me. We don't do this in P-Town. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, <laughs> so I just was 
you know, enjoying myself so much. It was one of the first places where everyone's just like, this is so gorgeous. I love hearing you sing all the time. Um, but so I'm in the back and I'm just about to go in and I just think it's happening. Mm -hmm. Just enjoy yourself. Just be present because this is what you've been waiting for. That's the key to life yeah. right there. Was it everything you'd hoped it would be? It was more. It was so much fun. I had a blast. I loved you. Oh, I <laughs> Every single time I was up there, I was just like, hi, Michelle. <laughs> you know? um, I enjoyed Rue yes. <laughs> so much. I used to listen to you and Rue in your podcast, mm -hmm. and so I felt like I already knew y'all. And you made so many new friends and sisters. Oh, did I? Who speak so highly of you, Safira. I love them all so much. It's a wonderful place to be in, and you're very young. How old are you? 34. You're a baby, and yet here you are being spoken about by your lovely friends and sisters that just can't stop gushing about you. Each one, when I say, who'd you get close with? They all say Safira. So I'm sure there was a little bit of mothering going on from your part. Yes. Um, you helped so many people. You made their outfits at times during <laughs> sewing challenges. Uh -huh. I didn't make it. Uh -huh. I didn't make it. She Whatever, made it. Safira. I made her sew it. I said, <laughs> you gotta sew this. I'm not doing that. Good. What I will do is cut it for you. She the coating, mm -hmm. and so I had to recut it for her. You live and you learn. <laughs> Are you happy with the work that you did? I am ecstatic. I can't even talk about all the top things that you won. Um, I can only talk about one that ended you up in the bottom, and that was just the luck of the draw. Yeah. It wasn't because it sucked, it was just the luck of the draw and the challenge. Yeah. One of my highlights this season has been able to judge you and watch you. Rue and I couldn't stop howling with the, the 80s runway, mm -hmm. like that was a highlight. <laughs> just everything you did. And you know, a big moment for you, Safira, was coming to terms and owning your uh, slew foot mm -hmm. <laughs> Because like you said, that used to drive you crazy and used to be a point of contention for you. Yeah. When really, we're doing nothing but revering it. Mm -hmm. And it's it's endearing. It makes you you. I feel like there was almost a rebirth of you realizing, oh, this is an asset, mm -hmm. not a hindrance. Mm -mm. These outfits, this beautiful look is so My Fair Lady. It's so Hello Dolly, but it's also just you. You obviously love a hat. I do. I wanted to have a Kentucky Derby look made. Very that. I wanted to watch the horses race. She's rich. You know, she's mm -hmm. rich. Mm -hmm. The look was made by my friend, uh, I respect her, and designed <laughs> by a good friend of mine, Griffin. And you didn't wear this yellow number. No. Uh, Go on then, why not? Because it just didn't fit. Didn't you know? fit anywhere. It didn't fit anywhere. I brought it, just in case, for my true colors. Of course, I would wear blue. It is my name. It's mm -hmm. my namesake. But I thought, yellow looks great on me. But there was already a queen of the yellows mm -hmm. here. So I was like, well, maybe Girl. I'll just. <laughs> right. So I was like, maybe I'll just stick to what I know. Very smart. Your skin right now is glowing. Oh, thank you. You have the most beautiful skin, most beautiful smile, your energy, your spirit. It's just so wonderful. And I'm so, so glad that you didn't give up. Thank you. And that the 11th time brought you here, and we got a chance to experience Safira Cristal. You are a star. You'll be going all the way to the top. You're just, you're just a gem. You are. You're Sapphire. You're a gem. Thank you, Safira. Thank you. I love you so much. <laughs> I love you so much. And thank you for watching another episode of What You Packin'. I'll see you next time. Mwah! I love a white pump. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, mm -hmm. they're just disgusting. They're just horrible. Yeah, they're <laughs> just whorish. You know where to go for the Mecca of gay shit. It's right here, and you know that's right. So make sure you click to subscribe so you never miss a thing.